questions were raised whether or not government funding from last year ever reached the civil society organizations that was allocated to support real-time issues in gender-based violence and sorcery accusation-related violence across the country. Representatives from different CSOs gave their perspectives on issues relating to GBV and, and SAV in front of the Permanent Parliamentary Committee on Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment today. GWE Committee Deputy Chairman Alan Bird questioned CSOs that were on the panel from Voice for Change, Family PNG, Tribal Foundation and the Divine Word University. When we requested the funds, it was very specific. We had expectations as a parliament, and I think every member of parliament had expectations that the 7.93 million kina allocated would find its way to organizations like yours and ultimately find its way towards assisting actual victims. Tribal Foundation Operations Director Ruth Kissam said that the government fund were never received due to disconnection. This was also agreed by other CSOs. That way, that policy that we're talking about, um, that is implemented by civil society actors, gets to be well coordinated. We have a very good policy that can work. It's just that it's not funded. And it's also parked under the right department, but it's not getting the money that it is supposed to get. She added that there needs to be a secretariat for direct connection with the government and the CSOs. Kisan added that most CSOs rely on raising funds and own pocket money. We go from within the country, outside the country, um, we go everywhere looking for money. We raise the money ourselves. We do fundraising. Good people like yourself also fund us because you see the need in this space. But when it comes to the um, funding that is allocated, budget that is allocated by the government, we don't. Because once the money gets into um, whichever department that it goes to, it doesn't go to the traditional um, partners that have been working in this space, and Tribal Foundation being one of it. Magna it, it doesn't go to the frontliners. Like no, it themselves. doesn't. We were not of the opinion that those funds would be spent by public servants for whatever purposes that they thought they should be spending it on. This year we have almost 10 million kina allocated again, so we would like to hear from all of you. I would like people like you to tell us how we should be spending these funds. I don't expect that public servants sitting in an office, flying off to places like England and having a joy ride uh, with all these allowances to be accessing those funds. I expect those funds to get to the victims. We expect that these funds should be benefiting those who are ultimately at the end of the line. Jasmine Eru, TV1 News.